I've got a kind of topical story, a story that's close to my heart, I think. Um, it's a little bit about hay fever. You guys heard of hay fever? Oh, Was it last live show? You were sneezing a lot. I was sneezing a lot. Live. Yeah. I've got yeah. my toilet roll here. Yeah. yeah. Just in case I need it. You know, yeah. I do need it a lot. So yeah, you guys know what hay fever is, right? Vaguely. Yeah. It's, it's basically an allergy to pollen. To yeah. do with pollen, yeah. sneezing. You guys have hay fever I have at it all? very badly. That's all I know. Yeah, I like really? to not think about it. Really? I yeah. didn't hear you sneezing last week. I don't know if... Uh... I'm built different. <laughs> 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 I simply say no to the pollen. I say, no, thank you, not today. No, I do. <laughs> I'm sitting here with my with my toilet roll on the on the desk because I I need it. And you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, I've got it real bad, bro. Yeah. You know, I've got it real bad. Just say no. <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't tried that. Well, no, there might be there might be um, another way of dealing with it. Have you guys noticed that hay fever is worse this year? I've seen a lot of people say that hay fever is worse this year. I noticed it earlier, mm-hmm. but the people around me I've noticed are sneezing more than ever. So yeah. yes, I have noticed. Yeah, yeah. so. Don't give me that look while you say that to me. <laughs> I have been not just you. Okay, not just you. Okay. That's Essentially, I've I find two sort of explanations for this that are completely conflicting. Um, so I don't I, I don't know why. And maybe and so there's I'll I'll give you the two explanations. So mm. this one is from an interview in Cosmo from uh, Doctor Naveen Puri or Puri. Uh, she's uh, an associate associate. Yeah, she. They're an associate clinical director at Bupa Health Clinics. So. Essentially, being inside so much might have increased people's sensitivity to pollen, mm. you know, sort of decreased their immunity to it. And so they've got an overact, they've, they're reacting more. Now, that sounded interesting, but uh, there is a nurse from the NHS who had an interview with the BBC, Holly Shaw, who said, um, who's the nurse advisor for Allergy, Aller- Allergy UK, uh, she said that um, it's, it's probably just people uh, focusing a lot more on it and it's got nothing to do with um, increased sensitivity. Why would we? Why would we be focusing more on it? Just because. Um, I mean, just because, like more you know, free time. yeah, we've got more free time. Uh, we've been. Uh, we've been. Uh, it's been particularly bad for it because of the winds and it's the right season and temperature for mm-hmm. um, these plants to release the pollen that people are allergic to. Mm-hmm. So it is like the sort of classic time for it to be really bad. But it yeah. is not necessarily any worse than any uh, any other years, yeah. you know, um, and yeah, it's just um, it's just people kind of generally perceiving their symptoms to be worse, and then trying to find some kind of reason for it. So it could be either of those things. It could either be that we've got some like we've we've lost some kind of immunity to it. We've we've lost some kind of immunity to it by not being exposed to it as much, or it could just be people uh, perceiving it to be worse. Being snowflakes. Yeah, being snowflakes. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, lost yeah. snowflake. Yeah, so <laughs> tough enough. That is not the sort of main focus of my story today, though, because I found this study from November 2020, which is actually really interesting. It's something that I've been um, doing myself, just uh, because it at least makes me feel better. So this is a study um, basically looking at whether masks uh, can help with hay fever symptoms. Mm. So obviously, what with the pandemic, we've all been wearing masks, or at least I hope we have, haven't we? Have we? Have we? We have, right? We went. We went to. Yeah. You know, like big party yeah, masks, like a gorilla mask, you yes, know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah. So wearing um, wearing like sort of your um, N95s or your surgical masks, looking at um, whether they will help. So pollen is 10 to 100 micrometers wide. Pollen grains are usually about that big. Um, and obviously pollen is what triggers your hay fever and makes you feel sneezy and wheezy and die. Um, in my case, gen- like I cannot breathe sometimes, genuinely. Yeah. Um, so... Normal surgical masks filter things that are bigger than three micrometers, and N95 um, filter things as small as 0.04 micrometers. Mm. Um, so obviously pollen grains are bigger than that, so it, they can filter pollen grains a ah. bit. So they essentially, um, they, they basically did this study in Israel at the sort of start of uh, the pandemic, sort of April time, which is a really, really bad time for hay fever in that mm. specific area. So they looked at a bunch of nurses who were already wearing masks and they had them wear um, they had them wear one set of masks for one week and then a different set of masks for another week and they basically did interviews with them to see what their symptoms were like. Hold on, I need to cough because of my hay fever. <laughs> <coughs> Intermission. Um, so they had them wear those masks and like swap them out and basically report what their symptoms were like. So they, essentially, it was really interesting um, what they found. So they looked at 18,024 nurses um, over 80% of which were women, by the way. Um, which is just a little interesting tidbit. Are 80% of nurses women? I honestly, I don't know. Okay. Probably. I read about that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so they had 301, um, 301 that actually had hay fever. Um, 
women are actually ninety percent of were nurses. So oh, wow. men were overrepresented in this yeah. study of nurses. I mean, they may. I mean, I don't. They may not have been when we looked at the when we looked at the hay fever sufferers. Uh, yeah, yeah. More, I don't have numbers on that. They don't man say n- snowflakes in nursing. Then. Just man flu, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so we had three three hundred one of those um, eighteen hundred had um, had hay fever. So they mm. said that they had hay fever. There were two hundred fifty nurses that they had to use both types of the face mask, um, one for like one week each. Apparently, forty forty two percent of them said that the symptoms of hay fever decreased um, significantly when they were wearing a surgical mask or an N95 mask, when compared with not wearing a mask at all. Then they looked at a smaller group of nurses who used surgical masks exclusively, that was 47 of them, um, and they had an improvement in mild symptoms. um, And there weren't many changes in the more severe sort of respiratory symptoms. And then they had some that used N95 masks exclusively, that was 39 of them. um, And they had a a really strong improvement in all of the severe symptoms, um, but not a huge improvement in the mild s- symptoms. Confusing. Uh, essentially, what they, what they found from this, it's quite interesting, is that um, the masks can help with sort of nose and throat and mm. wheezing and stuff. Yeah. But they don't necessarily help with the eyes all that much. The eyes, oh, yeah. of course. Right? Yeah. So you need a face mask and goggles. Yeah. Like swimming goggles. Yeah. I, I was out. The, I was out in a park yesterday, and I wore sun, sunglasses. Can help, like wrap around sunglasses. Uh, yeah. mm. So I was in a park the other day, and I ended up wearing a mask and sunglasses. And oh boy, it was great. But it cold out over here. Yeah. Well, no, no one could. Un, no one knew oh. what my face was doing. Oh. Yeah. So I would make a joke, oh. and and I'd smile, and they'd be like, Are "You? Why did you just? Why did you say that?" And I'm like, ah, "It's a. I'm, I'm, I'm smart. smart. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. No, no, you've covered your eyes as well." That's, yeah, it's actually this. Wow, I absolutely cannot tell what Corey is thinking. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but you forget, right? You forget that your face is completely covered. So, you know, it, it, it can it can help apparently. And they've got some different ideas for why this might be the case, you know? So, obviously it could be the fact that it's stopping the particles hitting your, hitting your sort of um, mouth and, and whatnot. The other sort of explanations are basically to do with the temperature and humidity in the masks, uh, which can kind of like help you when it comes to how your nose deals with sort of allergic reactions. Um, And then on top of that, because it was a pandemic, people were being told to not go outside, essentially. And so if you're staying at home and not going outside and meeting people, you've probably got less exposure to pollen. So it could be any number of things, but the fact that um, the fact that the symptoms of the eyes didn't really show a huge improvement mm. um, kind of gives the idea that masks can help to some degree, right? Um, yeah, and so th- like this is this is a quote from them. So they say, our results reveal that face mask usage may result, uh, may reduce allergic rhinitis symptom severity in chronically affected individuals with intermittent disease. And that's a key point as well. So they looked at people that have got sor- sort of the to people that had sort of intermittent symptoms and people that had more sort of consistent constant symptoms and it generally only helped to people with intermittent symptoms um but you know still it is pretty cool that wearing a mask can not yeah. only potentially help you with um you know not getting a virus it can also help you with a little bit of hay fever maybe this is gonna sound so silly but i forget that pollen has a physical size right because hmm. you can't see it, so in my head it's like a, a concept. Yeah, pollen is a concept. Yeah, I get you. And you forget that you can just put something that it can't get through. See, this is the fine. thing. I'd have no. I, I was like, I had no concept for how big pollen grains were when I was looking yeah. at this. So I was like, I mean, I know that pollen is bigger than a virus, but can it be stopped by a mask? I don't even know mm. why that was going through my head. Like, of course, pollen should be able to be stopped by a mask. Yeah. But like, does it make sense? Can yeah. it stop enough of it? But yeah. Um. And obviously the the virus is carried on water, is carried in particles of water in the air. So that's mm-hmm. why it's like, can it be stopped by that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is the thing. So basically this study has said that there's there's, there's decent enough evidence. There's some evidence to, to suggest that wearing a mask could help hay fever symptoms. Obviously, um, we can't definitively say wearing a mask will absolutely help you. But if you've got pretty bad hay fever symptoms might be worth wearing a mask. That's really cool, especially as it will not look weird. No. Like, if you were wearing a mask for hay fever two years ago, it would look pretty weird. People would be like, what are you doing? Are you a builder? Are you a carpenter? Are you a surgeon? What's going on? Um, I'm all three! <laughs> <laughs> I actually build wooden men and then operate on them. <laughs> um, but nowadays, like, you'll totally blend in and you'll be doing it not only to protect other people, but also to protect yourself. And no one will know about the wooden men that you build and mm. operate on. <laughs> the perfect crime. <laughs> <laughs> 
you enjoyed that clip, head over to patreon.com forward slash SciGuys where you can find the full show. Or you can stay here and catch up on old SciGuys episodes. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at SciGuysPod to find out when we're doing more live shows. <laughs>